What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are doing a review of Vega Sport chocolate peanut butter flavor protein. This is, I'm not gonna lie, not one that I've been looking forward to in any great amount. It's uh, a protein that is of course plant-based as most of you who are familiar with the Vega brand might know. Uh, and as a result, probably not gonna sit very high on the scale of taste. That being said, I do have my misgivings with it, so today we're going to review the protein and talk a little bit about those misgivings that I have and kinda get to the bottom of that. So first things first, uh, when we're talking about this protein, one of the reasons that I have such a sort of apprehensive feeling about it is that the protein in 2018 uh, was tested by the Clean Label Project. And uh, in their testings of this protein, amongst a bunch of other ones, they did 134 uh, tests on various products, uh, I think mostly surrounding Amazon's top sellers list at the time. Uh, and they found uh, in the in the proteins that they tested, Vega being one of them and scoring the worst of all of them, that they had dangerously high levels of BPA, arsenic, cadmium, and lead. Now, this didn't exactly do anything phenomenal for their brand. It, they went on the defensive pretty hard and there was a number of people coming out in defense of them trying to say, well, what's a safe amount of lead or BPA or cadmium or blah, blah, blah to have in this? But let's be real. Are you, are you really trying to drink lead? Is that, that can't possibly be something that you have high on your priority list. It really, it can't possibly be. That really hammered their reputation. And amongst most of us who really know about proteins and their reputation in the industry, it fell so far down the ladder that we have no business really even looking at it anymore. It's on the bottom of a lot of shelves. It is not really mentioned or suggested by a lot of uh, employees at various supplement stores. And, and so it, it I'm not really looking forward to this, but we're gonna judge it just like we do all the others. One cup of water in the same shaker cup as usual. We're also going to have uh, the one serving already doled out. It's actually a really big serving, is a lot. Um, but we're gonna be judging it just like we do all the other ones on taste, texture, mixability, and macros, and then giving a final score. So, might as well get right to it, shall we? I'm gonna start mixing this up. Twenty seconds. Okay, let's uh, let's get to it. So first on the list, taste. One thing that's nice is woof, woof. Okay, let me finish that thought. One thing that's nice is I don't have to take a lactose pill because it's vegan protein. But oh my god, okay. This is not, this is not a good sign. All right. So this indeed is supposed to be peanut butter. Yeah, this is supposed to be peanut butter flavored. Um, I honestly don't know where to start with this. Um, okay, let's cut to the, cut to the quick here. Uh, so, First and foremost, this flavor, it, you kind of get a little bit of peanut butter right in the front, but then right after that, you get slapped in the face with that sort of, the yellow pea and brown rice proteins, which are often used in proteins uh, that are vegan in order to provide the complete protein necessary to, you know, actually stand up against the complete proteins that come from animal sources. Uh, they don't tend to lend themselves very well to to flavor of any form. They tend to be very dominant and this is not much different. Oh, the back end of it, it's so chalky. It's incredibly chalky and earthy. And not in a way that I feel like I would have liked. I mean, if you still had a bit of the peanut butter flavor still working towards the end, it might've worked, but it doesn't. It just vanishes easy in the like the beginning part of the flavor you kind of have that initial flavor it tapers off that the earthy dirty pea sort of flavor comes in really hard in the middle and just rides throughout the back and then chalkiness really comes through at the end and the peanut butter is long gone by that point so it really doesn't it doesn't save this at all 
yeah, that's that's no bueno. That's that was not good. This is gonna be a hard review to get through just from drinking this. I'm gonna drink the whole thing because I'm just, I'm not a man who likes to waste, but. This is not going to be fun for me. Um, so let's start off with the taste rating. I'm going to give this. Yeah, we're going with a 0.5 on the. We're going 0.5 on flavor. This is this is garbage. This flavor is trash. This is terrible. I don't know who thought this was on point and ready for sale, but if this is the best they can do, don't don't do protein. Just don't. Just step away from this industry stop it stop it guys you have to stop it if this is all you really got next we're gonna hit the texture and the texture it's sort of uh it's on the thicker side and not like super grainy i mean i thought it was gonna be a lot more grainy than this but it kind of sticks around in your mouth it's kind of sort of like a, a sludgy End feeling it feels sludgy in your mouth after you swallowed it like it still kind of sticks around coating your mouth which is nasty I'm not about it I'm gonna give it a 1.5 on texture that that texture is not nice in your mouth mixability now again here I thought it was gonna score a lot worse but I don't see a lot of lumps in this uh, I actually see it pretty uniform it's pretty much totally mixed in uh, except at the top there is some residue kind of left behind there it did it didn't really perfectly mix in all the way around so mixability I'm gonna it's not too bad I'll have to give it to him I'm gonna say this is like a I'll call it a 3.5 this is a 3.5 this is not bad I don't like the fact that it left some in the top of the of the shaker there um, but at the same time it did seem to vanish for the most part from the rest of the protein. Some points docked for the fact that it's still caked to the side there. Some points docked for the fact that I can kind of like taste some of the grain in it, but you know, could be much worse. Macros. Now, when we look at the macros of this, we're coming in at 170 calories. We've got 30 grams of protein per scoop, but we have to remember this is a 43 gram scoop. This is a big boy. This is not a small scoop by any any stretch of the imagination. I was really struggling to get it into the cup. That I really should have thought that through, brought a spoon or something. Um, I don't like that we have three grams of fat in this. That could be a lot better, but I mean, we're dealing with plant-based protein, so there's gonna be some natural fats in there. We kind of have to just take that as it comes. I'm not happy about it. We have six grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, which is a pretty good thing to, to, to work with, uh, two grams of sugar. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what where we're coming at with the macros. Now, that being said, when we're talking about the macros, we kind of have to talk about the ingredients as well. And when we're talking about the ingredients, we have to address the fact that there was that 2018 study where they were talking about the BPA, arsenic, cadmium, cadmium, and lead that they found inside of this product. And I do think that is worth taking into consideration when we talk about its scores. One and a half times more arsenic uh, than your average protein, 4.8 times more cadmium than in your average protein powder, one and a half times more lead, and they found 25 times the allowed regulatory limit of BPA in it. That's that's not cool. That that's that you have to consider that when we're talking about this. So, I mean, I'd give it a two. I'd give it a two. I mean, yes, it's got the protein. Yes, it's got fat, but from like natural sources, it's coming from uh, from plant-based sources here. I'm happy that it's lactose-free. I mean, great. I'm a lactose intolerant person. That's wonderful. But dude. Cadmium, lead, arsenic, BPA. If you're not thinking about those things and you're in the plant-based world for the health benefits, I have to I have to ask about that that conflict. I have to ask about the schism in that thought pattern. There has to be some sort of schism that's occurring there, some sort of rift between thought and action. The cognitive dissonance needed to accept that is crazy. All right, so the total score here is bringing us up to a 7.5 out of 20, which is just garbage just trash and i mean that's 37 percent. yo that's f grade that is trash grade this is a dumpster fire i got it i just gotta call it what it is sorry i don't have to tell you this is garbage i wouldn't buy it 
anyhow uh that'll do it for this review i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it informative i hope you found it in entertaining i hope you got uh, something out of this i hope you learned something uh from this i tend to learn something every week whenever i'm doing videos like this because i get to do some research and i get to deep dive on some things and really dig into some products and you know sometimes i come up with some new information and it's uh interesting cool stuff that i can then take into the rest of my life so i hope you guys had the same experience uh, of course uh, as always i'll be putting my social media links in the description below the video so go ahead check me out on instagram facebook my website twitter too i mean i don't really tweet that often but hey come check me out there nonetheless i'd love to have you guys over there we can chat have conversations talk about all sorts of things hit the subscribe button and hit the bell just below the video so you can be notified of all of our future content and really keep up with all the stuff we got going on with the channel I've got a lot of cool stuff planned in the future so uh make sure that you are subscribed and you have the notifications on so you can hear about everything we got coming when it happens thanks for watching guys and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace I am going to finish it. I promise you that.